Okay, K1GMM, back with another video kind of related to the first video I put up with the IC7300 and the TS430S regarding selectivity versus sensitivity, even though this doesn't have anything to do with it. I uh, just want to show you what I stumbled upon with HRD. This is an old version, version of HRD, and I'm running it in the IC7700 profile, as you can see here in the top left corner of the screen. Take a look around uh, on the control interface here. Uh, top right corner, you've got mode data filter, AGC, attenuator preamp, all being, you're able to control that through the interface here without even touching the radio. And this is what I found interesting. If you come down to the bottom here, you look at uh, AF gain. I'm not going to go through all of them, but these are all the parameters that are adjustable on the interface here in HRD without ever touching the radio. So the thing I wanted to discuss a little bit, remember I was talking about the IF shift on the TS430S. Well, as everyone knows who has a 7300, it has a twin PBTs, and they're on a concentric set of knobs on the top left corner of the transceiver and what I found on HRD right here in the top in the bottom right hand corner is the IF shift now this allows you to move the PBTs simultaneously together uh, and what you're able to do is uh, that's that's an increase in speed and efficiency right there and basically turns your PBTs into an IF shift, uh, couples them together. Now you can control the twin PBTs independently of one another as well as a bandwidth you'll see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little clip and show you how it works. Uh, so let me get the volume up on the 7300. So I'm going to move off frequency a bit. And you can see how the IF shift works. Okay, that's the IF shift. And you'll notice the twin PBTs move independently uh, together. They move together with the IF shift. If you want to put it back to center, right click, hit center. That centers your filters. Now I'll go to just strictly one of the PBTs and uh, see if I can get the QRM out of there. So there you go. Uh, you'll notice the IF shift key moves, but the inside PBT does not move. So there you go. There's a, a couple. Let me put that back to center. And just wanted to demonstrate this for you. Uh, gives you some options. Let me turn the radio back down. Uh, it gives you some options regarding control of the 7300, especially during contesting. I'm going to be hooking up a 19-inch monitor, an additional monitor. This is on a 32 currently, and I will uh, be running my logging software as well as my the control interface here, which frees me up from having to go through the menus in the radio. Figured. Uh, I just share that with you. Uh, it's worth trying. Give it a shot. See if you like it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch up with you on the bands, hopefully. Somewhere, someplace, sometime. Is that how it goes? Anyways, K1GMM.